Hey, it's Dumps Marcus. I'm going to show you my eBay room, how I have it set up, how I store stuff, how I ship stuff, everything. But first, I gotta clean it. All right, got the room pretty decent now. But here's the door. If you didn't know, my garage used to be a horse barn. And I don't know why this is built like it is. Just for show maybe? Because that roof is like just for show and there's no back. And it's just like flat like the rest of the barn. So, and there's siding, there's windows, there's doors. So I don't know, they made it look fancy, like a shed office. I don't know. Well, you walk in here, and this is my eBay room. So as soon as you turn right here, as soon as you walk in, this is my picture taking station. And I don't know if you see me make this. It's in a video, I'll put the link down below. But I made it of all pallet wood. I made the bottom and the back. So the pictures look really, really nice. I just got to sand it down a little. It's been getting dirty from all the motorcycle parts. Then I just got two of these little uh, lights. I think you get them in a set of four on Amazon for like 80 bucks. And they used to be huge like circle bulbs, like really swirly ones. But I took those out and I put in floodlight, LED floodlights. They're really, really bright. And the pictures come out great. I got some LED lights as well. I'm going to mount them to here to get some more light from above. Because it's kind of, you know, it's not bright as I want it. Then over here is my Etsy shelf. Everything I have for sale on Etsy, like my weld art projects. I got these little, like, uh, pen holders and pencil holders for your desk organizers. I got like this heart made out of horseshoes. Really cool. And here's my hats that I sell on Etsy. I got my Explore More ones. And then I got Trash to Treasure ones. Uh, Vanessa designed this patch. Then I designed the Trash to Treasure one. And I hand sew them on hats. Brand new hats. Uh, check the link down below for my Etsy store. If you really want to help support the channel, uh, you can buy some of my merch that I have. I have a Teespring account, I have my Etsy account, and uh, I make weld art projects and stuff. And I'll put a link down to my eBay. You know, I sell anything from clothes, shoes, you know, video games, car parts, motorcycle parts, books, DVDs, CDs, video games, like anything that I see at yard sales and stuff that I know I can make a buck on. Uh, if you really want to help support the channel, uh, check out my eBay store. Maybe you like buy something. And then if you do buy something, make sure in the comment section, say, hey, I watch you on YouTube uh, and I'll throw in some stickers and stuff. And when I'm doing my videos of my once a month, my best sales, I'll shout you guys out. Say, hey, Steve, thanks for buying a hat or whatever. You know what I mean? So that'll be fun. So when you walk in, this is where I take pictures. And then these two shelves, I got to just get these plastic little shelves from uh, Lowe's. They're like 40 bucks a shelf or something. So this is all the items I need to post. These are non-posted items. And then my posted items are on this side. They're right next to where I take pictures is my shipping station. I have all free boxes I get from USPS. These are all free, all boxes. And then some of the boxes that I buy are like the sizes that I use a lot, like eight by five by four or six by six by six or six by four by four. 
usually get my boxes, some from Uline, some from Staples, and some from eBay. eBay boxes are pretty cheap too. A lot of places have sales, so never buy stuff full price. Staples stores always have sales. I always buy boxes from Staples. And I have a bunch more boxes underneath here that I get from dumpster diving. A lot of stuff by shipping supplies I get from dumpster diving. I use newspaper as shipping supplies. Instead of using bubble wrap, I use newspaper because all my friends and family give it to me for free. So now over here, I have stuff. All this is posted. And what I do in the description, I'll put, you know, this is a CD and it's in great shape, blah, 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 blah. And then I'll do a bunch of spaces and I'll put white cabinet number two. It's a white cabinet and there's number white cabinet number one, white cabinet number two. So when I sell something, it says white cabinet number two. And I open this up and here's my stuff. And here's the shelf I built. Uh, I'll put the link down below to this. It was a very easy shelf. It was not even $100 to build all this. This is before wood prices were up. But then I got these really nice stackable, they seal really good totes. It's a little overkill, but as you know, my eBay room is in my garage. And you know, once in a while I get a mouse in here or something like that, and I don't want the mice to eat my stuff, chew on anything. So everything is nice and sealed tight so mice can't get in my containers. Very easy system. Tote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So if I sell something, it says tote 13. I pull out this tote, open it up, and I look for the products. I'm like, oh, here it is. So very easy tote system. And once I fill out a tote, go to next tote, next tote, next tote. Mostly all the stuff from yard sales and Goodwills and stuff is in these totes. Like tote four is clothes, so all my clothes is in here. Then I have tote 15, which is books. So I open this up and I have all books in here. Like rack, rack one, rack two, rack three, shelf one, two, three, four. It's very easy. Label everything. See all the trophy stuff? Little trophy toppers from that trophy stuff. This used to be filled up with the Eagles and I only have this many left. I sold a lot of those. But yeah, see? White cabinet number one. This is mostly my video game cabinet in DVDs. So I have all video games, all DVDs, VHS stuff. So I put everything in here. So I know where everything is. Because when you have 500 and some items and you sell something and you're like, woo, I sold something. And then you come out here to the eBay room and you're like, ah, oh, man, where'd I put that? Then you're looking everywhere. It's easy. In the description where you're typing in like, ooh, it has a small rip here or it has a tear here. Just put a couple spaces down and put tote one, tote two. And then with my car stuff, I don't store my car stuff in here. I store it in the garage. But same with that. The, the Cadillac, I have 95 S420 tote one. 95 S420 tote two. And here's a tote that I have for the motorcycle. It says VL800 tote two. And yes, maybe I'll get another VL800 Maybe, I don't know, but then I'll put, if it was a green one, I'll put green VL800, or this was a 2002, or I'll put 2005 or six. You know, very simple, very easy to find. I don't like complicated stuff like tote one, dash five, four, you know, like a lot of people try to make it complicated, like tote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like there's 16 totes there. If you fill them up, then make 16, 17, 18. You could go to a million, you know what I mean? So that's how I have my eBay room set up. I have a TV that I got out of the garbage. And that's where I test my video game systems out. I do, it's so simple. I post through my phone. I take pictures in my phone. I don't go on the computer and type in a whole bunch of stuff and it takes hours to do a post. Like literally I can post this book in two minutes pictures edited and everything you edit your pictures i have a link below of how i post things on ebay so here's a link down below click that uh look at all the videos i have down below a lot of information i do stuff so simple because i am not a computer person i know how to turn a computer on i know how to do my little ebay thing print out my stickers and that's it i don't i'm not a computer person
I like working with my hands. That's why I like taking motorcycles and stuff apart. So very simple. I have everything very simple. Totes by one, two, three, four, or the name of the motorcycle. Very simple to look for. So if you have any other questions, comment below, and I definitely answer them. I answer 100% of you guys' questions or comments, and I really appreciate you guys watching my channel uh, from the bottom of my heart. I really do, guys. A lot of you guys have been watching me for a long, long time. So if you want to help support the channel, buy something for me on eBay, buy something for me on Etsy, Teespring, or something. Make sure you comment if you buy something saying, hey, shout me out, and I'll shout your name out on the channel. So thanks for watching, and have a scrap of good night.